In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus K2CrO4. This is barium chloride and potassium. This is the chromate ion, potassium chromate. When we do this, the first thing we have to do for net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. So I can see I have two potassium atoms here, just one here. Let's put a two here. And that looks like that balances the equation. We have a chromate here and here. That's good, a barium here barium here, two chlorine atoms on both sides. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, chloride, very soluble, AQ, compounds with potassium, also very soluble. The barium chromate, it's a bit of a problem. We know our potassium chloride, that'll be soluble. So barium chromate, not a lot of it dissolves in water, just a little bit. So we're gonna call this insoluble. So we'll put an S, if it's insoluble, it'll be a solid, and most of it'll be a solid. If we had this as aqueous, we wouldn't have a reaction because everything would be aqueous, no reaction. So we're gonna consider this a solid. If you were given this problem, likely you'd be told that this is a solid because the chromate doesn't show up on most solubility charts. So these are the states, we're gonna assume this is a solid, so we have a reaction. Next, we split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Barium, group two on the periodic table, that's two plus chloride ion, one minus. So we have Ba, two plus, and I'll write the states at the end. Let's not do that now. Plus two of the chloride ions. Then potassium, group one, has a one plus. The chromate ion, that's always gonna be two minus, the whole thing. So we have two potassium ions. And then we have our chromate ion, the CrO4, which is two minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're just gonna have this barium chromate here. It'll stay together. And then potassium positive, the chloride ion negative, two potassium ions plus two of the chloride ions. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I have two chloride ions. In the products, two chloride ions. Those are spectator ions. We can cross those out. Reactants, two potassium ions. Products, two potassium ions. We can cross those out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus K2CrO4. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium chloride plus potassium chromate. You'll notice charge is conserved. We have a two plus, two minus. That gives us a net charge of zero on this side. This is a neutral compound, net charge of zero, and the atoms are balanced as well. Note we considered barium chromate to be insoluble. Otherwise, we really wouldn't have had a reaction with this. I expect, again, you'd probably be given this information that this would be insoluble if you saw this on an exam. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.